here what's good youtube hey, we got mj2k all day do i have it is still good but the nba doesn't care what else for a do bro let's get it how are we looking swole howard, as usual? dwight howard is still really good but the nba is done with him yes dwight Damn. was out in taiwan dropping wilt chamberlain numbers shooting 10 threes and running pick and rolls what the f any nba player can go crazy uh, in other uh. non-euro leagues but how could dwight just start on a championship team two years ago now be blacklisted in the nba despite dwight claiming That's he's crazy. in the best shape of his career it's it's an ugly truth that has <laughs> nothing to do Despite Dwight claiming he's in the best shape of his career, it's an ugly truth that has nothing to do with age. <laughs> it showed throughout his whole career and a lot to do with why he didn't make the NBA Top 75. Because Dwight coming that in the league crazy. was hyped. He's only the third player ever to go number one overall straight from high school. The other two, LeBron, LeBron James Kobe. and Kwame Brown. So big ring. The magic draft oh, him and the Shaq comparisons were immediate. He was all NBA in his oh third God, year and by weird. his fourth season finished fifth really in MVP voting, averaging 20.7 points, 14.2 rebounds, two blocks on 60% from the field. The defense God, was becoming damn. dominant and the free throws were horrible. I literally have a fever right now, but I'm trying to get Dwight Howard a little bit of respect, so I'd appreciate it if y'all would subscribe. Some jokes in Superman dunk contest later, and by the 2009 season, Dwight established himself as a bona fide superstar. He won Defensive Player of the Year, mm -hmm. averaging 2.8 blocks a game, led an undermanned Magic team to the NBA Finals, bouncy defending champion Celtics, and then broke everyone's hearts by knocking out LeBron James one round before a Finals matchup with Kobe and the Lakers. We Rock. NBA championship ring that you don't have. All this on an offense designed around Dwight posting up, getting doubled, kicking two shooters at 23 years old. When you look at the best players in 2009, hey. obviously Kobe, LeBron pop up, but Dwight was unarguably in the top 10 league. Some years hey. top five. The Magic had the best defense. Hey, league, send that shit. They would lose to the Lakers in the NBA. Finals. Back them up. Good looks for my Lakers. You're welcome. But Dwight kept <laughs> finishing second in MVP in 2011 behind Derrick Rose. He won two more defensive player years, making it three DPOYs in a row. This man was a household name. Five all NBA first teams on the way to being one of the best hey. centers of all time. Yeah, but that's why he has the most dunk. happy with the magic. What Dennis is up, dude? So that spawn his players. It's your boy MJ. He was making that? a trade destination list public during a time when stars weren't even really demanding trades. It was called just as obnoxious as LeBron's decision announcement to go to Miami. The saga reached its peak a month ago before the 2012 playoffs. Magic head coach Stan Van Gundy told reporters that Dwight won him fired. Mid-interview, Dwight stepped in and awkwardly tried to embrace SVG. Alright, let's be real, Dwight was telling him to shut up or else, and Stan just uh -huh. walked away from the interview. Yeah, what's our main concern right now? A couple days later, <laughs> Dwight suffered a back injury that caused him to miss the end of the season. The Magic mm. had another first round exit and Stan Van Gundy Crawford. was fired. Dang. Dwight got the nickname Coach Killer and requested a trade anyway. He also took some shots at his old teammates, calling them a team full of people no one wanted. Bro, what? Dwight had ruined his brand and become one of the most yeah, hated bro. players in the NBA. Why do you think people don't like you? He later admitted that <laughs> he blew with the Magic and that he never fully recovered. The Magic trade him to the Lakers to team up with Kobe, Gasol, and Steve Nash That's for a super for team that point. was supposed to be on par with LeBron, Wade, Bosh, the big three in Miami, and set the stage for the worst magazine cover ever. What's this? Oh, Dwight rushed back from surgery to make a <laughs> title run with the Lakers, mainly due to the pressure to repair his image, but most people didn't realize it at the time. Dwight was struggling to raise his arms above his head. You know, that's pretty important if you're trying to play basketball. You serve zero purpose. Kobe told reporters yeah. that Dwight was too concerned with his image and not necessarily willing to do what it takes to win. So Kobe and Dwight did not get along. <laughs> well, we didn't see eye to eye. It wasn't going to work. 
And while Dwight's stats showed 17.4 hey, points play, per bro. game, 12.4 rebounds with 2.4 blocks, he admits it, type it was shit. pretty visible that he wasn't really dominant and actually confused. Just five games into the season, the Lakers fired head coach Mike Brown and mm. hired Mike D'Antoni, who runs everything through guards. At the same time, Dwight demanded low post touches. He didn't want to adapt, but D'Antoni also had a bias towards the 38-year-old Steve Nash because they had played together on those MVP Suns years. Man was dealing with a pinched nerve, but D'Antoni wanted to run a pick and roll offense through 38 year old Steve Nash, who visibly could not move. Make it make sense. Dwight was Goofy. frustrated on the court and wouldn't run some of the play calls, but D'Antoni also didn't want to listen to Dwight. D'Antoni treated Dwight and Gasol like expensive role players. Bruh. So when Dwight chose to leave the Lakers after one season, even though he could have had an extra 30 million from them, it didn't sit well. He was tired of all the media narratives, coaching debacles, but he created an enemy out of the largest fan base in the league. And y'all know how delusional Lakers fans can be. <laughs> Howard's contract ended and free agency began. Harden recruited Howard and Daryl Morey, stat god, believed that Howard was the missing piece for their inside out game. Yes, stats and analytics was the reason the Rockets signed 28 year old Howard in his prime. How the narrative would change. I'm trying to pick Dwight in Prize Fix, the sponsor of today's video, but he's okay. not in the league. Damn. You've seen me crush it three times with Prize Picks so far, so stick around. Prize Picks is daily fantasy made easy. Pick two to five players, and if they will score more or less than their Prize Picks projection, you get paid. It's you against numbers like Dwight. Oh, Luka dominating the first half against the crashing Nets? Boy, ain't no way, boy. That's no <laughs> break. And Michael Porter Jr. going over 12.5 combined points, rebounds, and assists. Most of it's going to be points. That's easy against the Spurs. And we crushed it again. All first time yeah. users of deposit and use the yeah. promo code MJ2K will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. You can win up to 10 times your money on any entry. Entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. It's that easy. So download prize picks and play daily fantasy sports on us. Make sure you use the promo code MJ2K when you sign up. The way people remember Dwight on the Rockets, you would think he was useless. What you, say? What you say about my mama boy? But he was averaging 18.3 points, 12.2 rebounds in his first season, making the Rockets a top bro. 10 double, defense double. and eventually 26 points and 13.7 rebounds in the playoffs. Unfortunately, That's they were playing valid. against him. I'm him. But Howard would miss half the games playoff. next season with knee swelling problems. It was his first time in his career missing significant games, and during that time, the Rockets shifted their entire offense to Harden. The Rockets made it to the 2015 Western Conference Finals, but Dwight was almost ran off the floor at times because they were playing with the small ball Warriors who would eventually win all, and Howard was playing with a sprained knee. Except it was later revealed to be a torn MCL, a much more severe injury that should have required him to sit out for at least two months oh, deja fuck. vu huh james harn was 23 years old reaching upper peaks of superstardom and the rockets were clearly making the team around harden rather than howard their playbook relied heavily on pick and rolls and stepped away from howard's post game all this was so clear that they fired their head coach even after he had just led them to the western conference finals what according to an anonymous <clears throat> player when he joined the team mid-season in 2015 2016 he had to pick a side Team Howard or Team Harden? Is this the Avengers? The hell? And not just him, <laughs> but every other player on the team picked the side. And management made their choice clear. Dwight's usage rate plummeted despite him being healthy. It was the lowest it ever was in his first eight seasons. So in his third year with the Rockets, he only averaged 13.7 points per Look, game, the more? lowest number since his rookie season. The main reason Harden and Howard never made peace is because they acted like there wasn't a problem to begin with. Harden is passive aggressive and non-confrontational by nature. Or is he? I said, do you want to fight? <laughs> Do you wanna catch his hand? It got so bad that Horn and Howard would take opposite routes to leave the arena. It's so wild, cause remember, Horn heavily pushed the Rockets to sign him in the first place. The management chose Horn, 
and Howard was out to Atlanta. Once I mean, again, ousted from a team and his reputation was Rockets finished. At this point, point Howard was 30, considered to be damaged goods that couldn't win with Kobe, and now rising star Harden, and multiple executives thought his trade value was worth a second round pick. Even though it was pretty clear to see that Howard just wasn't given that many touches. But the NBA was also shifting to the three-point era thanks to the Warriors. And Howard, mm -hmm. as we've seen multiple times, can't shoot. Dwight's time on the Hawks and Hornets got overlooked despite him averaging 15.2 points and 12.6 rebounds Damn. on 59% from the field. Teammates were sick of Dwight's antics in the locker room, complaining for a larger role when the NBA was clearly moving in a different direction. They also said that Dwight wouldn't really give it his all on the Hawks because now Dwight's post-up style was simply outdated but he kept wanting more. By 2017, it was empty stats on meaningless teams, but it still showed that Dwight was a usable player. So when he got his chance on the Lakers, Dwight was humbled. He was 34 years old, no longer the same Dwight that jumped out the gym and knew yeah. that he wasn't going to be a Damn, central give me that shit, of boy. any offense. Instead, he would have to do all the little things, and he did. He averaged 7.5 points, 7 boards, 1 block in 19 minutes. He would be okay with sitting out some games, like a against these small ball rockets and okay with just being a defensive anchor with absolutely no post touches here was a player hey, that finally wasn't selfish that was willing to do whatever the team That's needed when he said, for the first but when time you in young, his career bro. but when, when you young like think about it when you, if you were the young nigga like <clears throat> you just want you want the ball because you know you're you're the dog bro you a dog for real Dwight Howard was a dog so I understand why he wanted the ball but I'm glad like his mentality switched because now that nigga won the championship. Year that hasn't changed the bad taste in everyone's mouths of the previous mm. eight. It's why he didn't make the NBA top 75 despite Crazy. universally being thought to be probably around the top 65 player. I knew I wasn't going to be on it. Why? Politics. I already knew. In fact, there's a lot of people that don't that's even remember is, Dwight's greatness. Who? Or his dominant seven. Oh, that's crazy. The yeah, that one's crazy. Era took off as that he one was is leaving crazy. the magic. So bad publicity. Dwight then got in a scuffle with AD last year during a timeout, and while both players downplayed the situation, it didn't sit well with the Lakers organization and possibly the rest hmm. of the NBA. Because it brings up the same bad taste of Dwight being a diva and wanting things his way, regardless of how little that argument could actually been it just wasn't a good look and as much as we'd like to think that decisions in the nba are based on the player's performance narratives play a crucial role in signing a player with social media on the rise back then dwight's clips play what the fuck is this a crucial role in signing a player. <laughs> with social media on the rise back then, Dwight's locker room issues with former teammates resurfaced only to tarnish his NBA resume. He is still a solid role player who can provide valuable minutes to many current NBA teams looking for defense. The guy helped That's the nice. Lakers win a chip three years ago for crying out loud. He was actually useful. But Dwight isn't the only one who understands how narratives can lead to a player being kicked out the league. J.R. Smith talked about him and a whole host of players being blackballed from the NBA. To most executives, Dwight simply wasn't worth the potential headache. You telling me this guy is still on team over Dwight? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the reason why Udonis Haslam is still on team is because of the locker room presence he brings, as well as the Heat taking care of their players. So Dwight heard a variety of reasons why teams wouldn't sign him. We aren't signing anyone over 30, even though they added Patrick Beverly. Or we need a big back and shoe, which fair point. So all these highlights in Taiwan hey. might not mean anything, but there's a whole career oh, worth of plays and stats that showed Dwight at bare minimum is a very capable role player. But his whole career That's also true. shows that he's continued to hurt himself and been one of the most hated players in the NBA. I still think he should be in the league at the minimum. The all day Nova case rush out goes to an O G day one, my girl, Maria Joe. The war isn't looking too hot. Thanks for the all day Joe support. Mama. If you want to know how KD has also been hurting his career, <laughs> there's a video right here. And if you're still here, you're a real one. So come and return so I know. Happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving. It's your boy MJ. We out. We out. Yo. <clears throat> Shit. Nah, um. I don't know, bro. That's so. <laughs>
Oh shit, nigga. Hold on, give me a second, bro. Give me a second. Mm. Yeah, I think that's so weird. I mean, it's understandable, I guess. It is a business. But it's just weird how... That nigga is a top 75 player. That nigga is actually going to put up more... Even if he doesn't put up the numbers, he's going to be a better fit than a lot of guys. You know what I'm saying? Lakers. But nah, uh, I mean, I guess it is what it is. Niggas say they want shooting bigs. First of all, there's barely any bigs to actually shoot. Let's just keep it a buck. And the ones that don't shoot, I mean, the ones that do shoot, they're not getting traded. Because niggas want to keep them. The fuck?